Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. So, with The Last of Us wrapping up, with people like... Uh, you know, moving on to the next big thing. I don't see anyone talking about The Last of Us. I don't, like, other than, like, YouTube shills. I don't really see, like, uh, you know, it's pretty much forgotten at this point. Uh, I, I do think we're not going to hear about The Last of Us again until, like, it's time to get excited for The Last of Us uh, Part 2, which is, of course, going to cover The Last of Us Part 2, which is, of course, going to be complete garbage. And I'm curious, like, how the, the gaming establishment is going to damage control this. I, they're already, like, well on their way to doing it. I don't know why they're, like, going to such lengths. It's such a... It's such a weird fake thing. I I hope more people start seeing through this series as it goes on. I'm sure they will. Uh, you know, I've already, I'm I'm seeing a lot more people criticize the story in this than than I used to see from the original release. So I think it is starting to catch on that like you know The Last of Us is not a particularly well made interesting IP. But like that's not the subject subject of this video, honestly. Like the main thing I want to focus on today is talking a little bit about like this weird kind of trend I've been noticing when it comes to uh, the world of video game adaptions, like, you know, from Castlevania to Cyberpunk Edge Runners to this, the, the tendency to claim the big new thing as the best video game adaption ever. You know, like Cyberpunk Edge One Runners, when it first came out, was like, it wasn't just like a new show on Netflix. It was like it was one of the best animes ever made. It was like, oh man, look at look at how they took all these locations from this classic video game that they totally packed into being good, by the way, and incorporated them in this compelling new sci-fi plot that really make really makes you want to go out and buy Cyberpunk 2077 right now. You know, it was it was fake. It was artificial. It was like, you know, pushed by shills. You know, I saw through it. Plenty of people saw through it. It was artificial as hell but like you know that was what they were trying to do right they were trying to sell you on this idea that like this was one of the best video game adaptions ever made if not the best right and now last to this year we're seeing the same thing with the last of us we saw the same kind of marketing blitz we saw the same kind of media hype we saw the same kind of presentation we saw the same kind of like language used this is the best video game adaption ever made well where are the arguments? You know, like, if Cyberpunk Edge Runners and The Last of Us really were, like, that popular, like, if they really did have an audience, like, why exactly aren't more people debating about which is the superior show, right? Like, why aren't people, like, saying that, like, oh, yeah, Edge Runners, you know, it had... Rebecca was a way more likable character than Ellie, right? Like it had way better like animation, you know, it, you know, bright colors, creativity, the 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 premise was more was more interesting. It was more creative. It was it felt like more like a, a dystopia than than The Last of Us felt like a, an apocalyptic wasteland, right? Like, you know, I have no problem like acknowledging that like, you know, Cyberpunk Edge Runners was probably better than The Last of Us, but like my issue you know, as an outside observer who's, like, not really a fan of either of these shows, like, if they're both considered the best video game adaption ever made, where – where is, like uh, – where are the people contesting this? Like, wh who is, like, actually – deciding this who exactly decides wh what makes a video game adaption great you know it's not normies because the vast majority of normies don't care about cyberpunk 2077 or the last of us right we've seen this demonstrated time and time again is that the vast majority of people who saw this show never actually played the game you know like we're, we're seeing uh what <sighs> it feels so artificial this this praise that's being lobbied at these kind of projects that these are great video game adaptions, you know, that turn into great pieces of media it, that doesn't seem to have, like, any real bearing on how, like, at, people actually feel about it. You know, like, it feels like it's just a marketing stunt. It feels like it's just something for for Twitter users to, like, uh, YouTubers to, like, kind of scream at you while they, like, praise this game to high uh, – praise the show to high heaven before, like, forgetting about it the next year. That's – that's kind of the pattern we've been seeing lately. And I, and I have to wonder, like, how many times this pattern can repeat itself until people start catching on, right? Like, you know, how many best video game adaptions ever have we had over the past couple of years? Castlevania, Sonic, this, like, these th these two things. And, like, you know, we're having the Mario, the Mario movie is coming out in a couple of weeks. You know, like, uh, are people going to do the same thing about the Mario movie? I doubt it. And that 
that movie is probably going to be the most successful out of all of them, right? Like it's it, it feels it again. This this kind of goes into what I've been saying is that like it's purely marketing. It purely it, it has nothing to do with like the actual with how the 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 show is received among audiences. It's entirely just empty hype and just you know something that will be discarded immediately after once the new shiny thing comes out. That is how I – that's what happened to Cyberpunk Edge Runners. That's what happened to The Last of Us, and that will happen to whatever next the, the industry tries to shove down our throats while they desperately try to downplay the, the Super Mario Bros. movie. That's that's what I expect to see going forward. I am very, very interested in seeing just, just how low this industry will go in trying to push absolute nonsense that nobody actually likes.